How's it going guys? I'm back. Thank you for watching. We are going through the sewers now in Outlast and my time is going to be way off on your guys' on the top left corner because between video clips I went to go get some pizza. I made my own pizza. It's pretty fucking delicious if I do say so myself. So I was eating some pizza between videos so your time is probably a lot shorter than mine is. So, back to the video. You can take a left, and there's going to be a document right here. Okay. Now this is why I said that this part of uh, Outlast is one of my, I would say least favorite, just because there is a lot of intense parts with uh, Sir, I believe his name is Christopher Watkins, I believe. I'm not sure what his name is. I believe I missed the part where you get the document for... I believe if you're in the locker... I was in the locker the first time. If you pulled out your... Your camcorder, I believe it would uh, give you... A document. But what you want to do... So to get these two valves. Quickly run over here. Through here. Because Christopher Watkins just jumped down. Go over here. Swing your right. There's nothing over here. See? Nothing. Okay. Go through here, shut this door. Make sure you shut the shit out of that door. Don't hide in those lockers. I did that on Insane one time. Christopher Watkins came in and fucked my day up. So, what you're gonna wanna do is come over here, actually. Kinda cheesy, sketchy, I know. But, pretty much just chill here. Just wait until he breaks down this door. And he will walk towards those lockers. To see if you're in them. That's why I say don't hide in those lockers, because he checks to see if you're in them. So we're gonna wait. No, oh, there it is. Right on cue. So, as soon as he breaks in, see if I can record his mid drift. No, I can. So, as soon as he goes that way, you haul ass out of here. So, jump over this. Jump over that. Sorry if I'm blinding you guys in my night vision. Like I said, I'm used to insane. So I like so I usually just do this a lot to save battery. I don't do it on purpose. It's kind of a habit. Swing a right, come through here. And the second valve will be right here, and this will also net you an achievement, I believe. Thought there was a battery in here. No, I'm a liar, guys. I told you that before, I'm a fucking liar. I don't even believe anything I say anymore. So after that's done. Okay, I lied about don't listening about not listening to me. I lied about lying. So come through here. Come down in here. This is usually what I do. You don't have to do this. Because it is kinda tricky, I'm not gonna lie. Hopefully he goes back to the right. And he didn't. That's awesome. Okay, so I'm going to lure him out because I'm a crazy motherfucker. This is how you lure him out. Go to him right here. Oh shit, you have to lure him out. Okay. You want to come this way, come this way. And then go down here. Ah! Cocksucker. I know I said I wouldn't be doing any reactions, but that definitely got a little reaction out of me. So basically, go back the way you came, back to the little entrance, and you can go down this ladder now. Obviously take another left, and I believe, obviously a right. Jump over here, there should be jump scare. Just come with this ladder. Then you'll see this guy here. He's not dangerous, so 
You have nothing to worry about. So I don't even think he's here. Run around here. You could keep going straight. You don't really have to. I don't believe there is a document over there, but I could be wrong. Ah, fuck it. I'll just go check for you guys. There is a battery, however. Thank you guys for making me check. Go through this door. You could record this guy right here. And get another document. I can tell we're the same. You still know it's real. Uh, the doctor's dead, you know that, right? Doctor Barry. Away from the stop talking. It could, takes a while to, to finish up here. Well, what kind of experiments does a dead doctor perform on living patients? <laughs> That's the question. I don't fucking know, man. And there's the document. Uh, okay, so you're gonna want to come down this ladder. I keep saying okay because I keep thinking that we're gonna get to the part that I really don't like, like literally one of my most hated parts in the entire game. But we're not quite there yet. So you're gonna to wanna to go left to the male ward. Ooh, I'm not gonna lie. Maybe jump a little bit. I told you guys, I don't really freak out too much on scary video games. You'll just see me quickly jerk to the left or right or something. I don't usually jump or scream or overreact or anything like that. I'm fucking real, guys. That's what it is. Okay? I don't sit there and do fake fake screams and shit. Everything I do is going to be real. I'm not going to overreact just to get more views. Or end up on the top 10 outlast jump scares reactions or anything like that. So after that... Come up here, jump up. There will be a jump scare right here. You really don't even have to open this door. Like, it's literally pointless, but it's just a little scare. So that's pretty much it. So you go through this door, and this is the part that I fucking hate. Okay. Jump down here, go up here, up here. Jump back down, jump. Oh, no, we can't jump. You gotta swing a right. So you pretty much just climb, jump down here, then swing a right over here to the staircase. And I hate this part because you can't run in the in the water. The problem is you're going to be in a big ass open area with Christopher. I believe his name is Christopher Watkins, but I don't. That's why I say Chris because I don't know if I'm wrong or not. But you're going to be in a big ass open area with Chris, and the problem is you can't run. <laughs> So you can come up here. You don't really have to. I believe there's a document through here. Yes, there is. Okay. Grab that. Let me ref re uh, refresh my batteries here. Go back the way we came. Jump into the water. Swing a right. This is the part we're going to be stuck in this big ass room with Chris. Now, what I do, I hug the shit out of this left wall. It hasn't failed me yet. I don't really hug the shit out of it. But I stick to the left side. It hasn't failed me yet. So, if it fails me, you guys will be witnessing a real fucking reaction for me. Because I am not prepared for this shit. But you're going to want to go to where that that is. I shouldn't be zooming in. I should be fucking seeing where Chris is. I can hear him, but I can't fucking see him. And that is the worst thing you could do in fucking Outlast. So there's, there's where we need to go. There will be... See, so follow that. There's a staircase right there. And I sound really fucking comic collected, but I'm pretty fucking nervous because I don't know where Chris is. Sounds like he's close to me. As soon as you get up here, that's pretty much automatic. So run up and jump across. Woo! I'm not gonna lie, my heart was kind of racing right there, guys. That part always gets to me. So next... Oh, that, that shit's over. Don't worry about this guy. He doesn't bother you. What you gotta worry about is the next guy. This door is gonna shut. So. There's gonna be a guy charging you on this next part. 
this door's gonna shut, so there's no point to even running back. Just to give you guys a warning. Like, I'll be charging you straight ahead. This door's gonna shut. Like, this dickhead behind us, he closes the fucking door. So, this is what you gotta do. Let him come towards you. I like to go in here, loop around, and then just run. Swing a right, another right. Ooh, swing and a miss. Swing a right. Don't bother with that guy. Oh my god, I'm fucking lost. Dude, move. Oh my god, I'm stuck. Oh my god, I'm stuck. Uh, come on, 360 out of here. Jimmy out. Jimmy out, come on. Come on. How the fuck does this even happen? Come on, come on, wiggle out. Wiggle! Come on, man, get the fuck out of here. Get out. Come on. Come on. Okay. Well. <laughs> we can get a close-up of this guy's face. Fuck. Bro, get the fuck out of my way. Okay. I'm gonna have to restart. <laughs> or, fuck, man. Okay, let me try to exit out of here. I've never had that happen to me before, guys. I apologize. I should have auto-saved, though, so I should be good. I pray to God that it saved after that crisp part, because I really, really fucking hate that part. Oh, it did. Okay, good. So, I will not fuck up this time, guys. That's never happened to me before, ever, I swear. So, run, run. Run through here, run right, run left, run left, right, and then left. See that guy over there? Pretty much follow, follow this guy. Swing your right, and then go through here. And I believe this is pretty much it for the sewers, guys. So, thank you for watching. And I'll be doing the male ward next, which is also kind of important to watch. Because there is an intense chase scene on this next part. So, I will be showing you how to get through all that shit. So, thanks for watching. See you next time.